so I listened to Red by Taylor Swift to continue the journey. And if I'm being honest, guys, it's not getting much better. Um, Red is an album that has more pop than country, but has hints of country music kind of layered throughout there and sprinkled throughout there. Um, at least that's what I got from listening to it. Honestly, there's like one or two songs that are cool enough and playable. Everything else is eh. Like I listen to half of the song and I'm like, skip. Like it's just not entertaining or it just it's just not my type of songs, right? Um, of course you have twenty two, and that's just a song that a lot of people know. It's kind of a classic. Which is cool. And it, it's good. It's good. 22 is good. Um, but when you only have like one or two songs on your album that are good. It's not great for you. Like you got to have more than two bangers on an album that's packed full of songs. I think there's like 12 to 16. Somewhere in there. Um, of songs on this album. And it's just... I'm really hoping for the best for next week. Like I've been saying, like when I do these reviews, there's not much for me to review because I just don't like it that much. And I don't want to just crap on an album and go for each song and be like, this one sucks because X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm not going to do that. So hopefully next week it gets like tremendously better because next week we're going to be doing 1989 and that has actually turned 10 years old. It'll be 10 years old uh, this year. But as for Red... I think Red is flawed. It's better than the first three albums. Because there's at least two songs that I enjoy. It leans more into pop and is becoming the more... It's it's taking Taylor Swift from country and pushing her closer and closer to pop. Right? So that's neat, I guess, because that's the Taylor Swift that you know, right? But honestly... I'm just not a fan of Red. Also, why does she do all these studio re-releases of albums? Like, you know, when you search up the album Red, you have to go find the original and not the re-release Taylor's version. Like, why, why has she been doing this? It just keeps on re-releasing and re-recording same old albums. Because what? Like, I, I don't know, but really it's just... Red Red is it's not enjoyable for me. It's not one that I would be like, yeah, let's put on red. No, 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 no. Um, there are other pop albums that are twenty times better, hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of times better than this. Um, for instance, Thriller by Michael Jackson is probably the greatest pop album of all time. Want to go with something more modern that's better than this? Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Like, it, it's just better albums. And I have listened to 1989, but I'm not going to give you my take on that. You, you'll see. I like 1989 a lot more than any of these first four albums. But to me, I keep on sitting here and wondering, how did Taylor Swift get a career if her first four albums were just crap? Like, honestly. You can't make four albums in a row that are crap. And I'm sure some people enjoyed them because clearly she's the biggest pop star living right now. So, you know, somebody had to enjoy it, but who? And what was that audience? Because as we've been through it many times, her country singing, not a big fan of. And her pop singing, yeah, I mean, it gets better, but I don't know. It's just not as enjoyable. So I'll leave you guys with that. And I hope that this fan in the background has not been a horrible distraction because I do have the cleanup filters on the mic. But uh, with that being said, peace out, everybody. We'll see you in the next one as we listen to 1989.